to my week 5 LEC power rankings where I go over the last week of games in the LEC, rank the teams 10 through 1, and kind of give you my opinion of how they're playing and how I see things in the LEC at the moment between the 10 rosters. Um, there's a lot of change this week. Things are starting to really come into, um, I'm, I'm figuring out who is who in the LEC, and not so much like I don't know the players. Obviously, I know 90% of the players. I mean, if, I mean, I know 90% of the players pretty well by this point, what they, they offer. Um, and we know what the teams offer. Like, we know, I can give you an idea of where I think these guys will always be. I mean, as of right now and how they've looked. Um, very easy to start. Um, clearly, the worst team still without a victory. Astralis. Um, Astralis has no wins. Uh, they played well uh, this week at times, but they lost to the ninth place team, which I'll just get into right now without really breaking down Astralis by themselves. SK are, are ninth. SK aren't very good either. Neither team is good. Um, I, they have problems. I'm going to say it every week. Advian should be on Astralis. I don't know why they still have Promise Q, and I'm not even like one of those Promise Q haters. Like, some people are just Promise Q haters. I can say I'm not a hater of Promise Q. I just think he stinks. And at the very least, Advian is better, and he should be on their team. SK, the support position is not the problem. Treats is their best player. It is. Um, Sirtus, I think, isn't very good. I, Gilius is not good anymore. Um, Gen X is okay at times, depending on the patch, but they are not a they are not better than ninth. Like even like eighth place BDS. So and some might think to themselves, "Well, BDS lost both games. SK beat Astralis. What do you, why would you keep BDS above SK if you think they're all similar? BDS has some young players on it, players that at least we don't know a lot about." Syncroft deserves way better than this. Like, if Syncroft is on, like, looking here, what's a team that could use a better jungler? I mean, shoot. Let's just say Misfits, because Schlatan. Schlatan hasn't looked that bad, but I think Syncroft has looked better. If he's on Misfits, Misfits are no longer where they are in my rankings. They're probably up one or two more spots. But Syncroft cannot help BDS and their problems. BDS lost to G2 and Mad. Two good teams. I mean, they're better than them. I say it every week. I got my tears, and, like, if these guys are beating these guys, that's bad for them, good for them. If these guys lose to each other, I mean, that's going to affect these guys, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not going to propel you up here. And losing, if these guys lose to one of these teams, better teams, not six necessarily, but if one and two, which we had last week, if Rogue beat G2... Why would I drop G2 if they lost to Rogue? Like, Rogue is better than them. It depends how you lose, but at the same time, I mean, like, these guys, they are not good. Um, these guys are not good. I, I, I would hope that these guys get better over time. Um, but it's starting to be a separation here, I think. So, 7th place, and I... Okay, I am... I, I really... I almost changed my rankings as I'm speaking um, to just kind of be like, oh, look, there's more than one swap in this rankings this week. But I'm not going to do it. XL beat Fnatic. Good for them. That's a win. That's their best win of the year. But they lost to Rogue. Losing to Rogue, not a bad thing. I mean, they got smoked. Rogue has smoked everybody, but they got smoked. Um, I need to see more. If this week they perform as well as they did last week, uh, they'll move up. Um, but right now, they're there. Mickey is helping them, but they, they need more. Um, they need more out of mid lane, um, and they need more out of top lane. Especially. I think Finn has given them issue. Finn has not really gave them a return on investment yet. Sixth place, and the reason why I have Misfits ahead of them is because I just, I really... I would be disappointed if Misfits dropped down to here. They've had a good start to the year. Harit and Vethio, I, I just, I am all about Vethio mid lane. 
I liked Turret last year. I still like Turret as a top laner. Um, but beating SK, you should do that. That's not a surprise. Losing to Vitality, if you remember last week. Mad Lions, Vitality, and Misfits, four through six. We have to figure out who's who. Misfits showed Vitality right now is better than them. I, I mean, and okay, well, a lot of people could have said that. They'd be like, oh, well, on paper, of course. Yeah, well, the way Vitality has played this year, they have sucked. So, like, Misfits were bumping up against them. They were like, oh, well, maybe we can do it. No, they couldn't do it. They, they lost that game, and they're paying the piper for it in the rankings this week. Um, and now, fifth through third, I changed three times before finally coming with a consensus. Um, so, fifth place... Mad Lions. Mad Lions, stay fifth. Beat BDS, good for you. You should do that. Same as them being SK. You should do that. That's not a surprise. Lost to Fnatic, that's a problem. Um, Fnatic have lost three out of the last four. The only win is against Mad Lions. So, Mad Lions did not show up in that game against Fnatic. And right now, I mean, I still have them above Misfits because Fnatic is up here. And, well, they were up there, but, no, I mean, no. spoiler, they're four. But, like, that is not as bad as um, these guys losing Vitality, in my opinion. Um, so, spoiler, let's just go to Fnatic real fast here. So now you may get an idea of why I swapped these guys so many times because I didn't know what to think. I mean, so Vitality ended up going, oh, let's just do this real fast. I'm going to break it. I'm going to do this. So we've got these four teams now, more so these three because um, Misfits lost these guys. So... At first, I said to myself, these guys, I like these guys. They beat BDS, so they lost to Fnatic. But then I think, in the grand scheme of things, I still have my hesitations about Reeker. And that, in itself, puts them fifth. Reeker needs to do more. I think he did, showed, up, showed us a little bit of stuff two weeks ago, a little bit this past week. But he is nowhere, he is not competing with Humanoid and perks and even Vethio. like and that's a problem that that is their problem and then i say what about these two well these have to be he they have to be above them they just beat them but what do i do about them so these guys beat these guys but lost to them and i keep saying this and i just explained it you can lose to these guys but losing to these guys is, a, is not good that's not acceptable Fnatic have uh, 12.2 has not been their friend. 12.3 is coming, and hopefully it was just a patch problem because they they have issues. Now these guys took care of business. They beat them. That was in their wheelhouse. That was a team similar to them. That's a win. That was I mean they should win, but I could see them losing. Misfits were close to them. Beat Astralis. Well, they sure sure as heck should be able to beat Astralis. So they move up one for beating them, and those guys dropped one more so for losing to them. Uh, that's not acceptable. Second place, G2. And first place is Rogue. So we'll talk about these guys at the same time. Um, G2, you beat BDS. You should do that. Um, losing to them. Uh, um, well... That kind of, we know where you are right now, and that kind of makes sense. I mean, Rogue have an established team with five players that you look at and you say, well, Mail Ring didn't play a lot last year. Yeah, well, Mail Ring was on Damwon, so of course he didn't play, but his scrims were arguably better than half of the games that are going to be played in the LEC. Um, so internal scrims at Damwon were better than uh, what Rogue does against XL or whatever. G2 loses to them. What are you going to do? Uh, young bot lane had some problems. I think they're. Uh, I think Yankos has been underwhelming at times. Caps has been underwhelming at times. Um, I mean, Broken Blade's been really good, but I think mid jungle had been a disappointment. 
I think a lot of people would say that. Caps has done good at times, but Caps is supposed to be good all the time. And it's early spring, and it, it, it's spring split. What are you going to do? But right now, um, Rogue are better than them. So, tier list, really. I'm establishing my tiers, okay? So, right now, that's that. And I would argue, because these guys went 2-0 this past week, maybe they're turning it around, they're there. So, that's, I would say they're similar. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if these guys just went on a tear, because on paper, they should have already been on a tear. Um, and these guys may, you know, how do they respond from a loss like that? These three, I would say, are in the same boat right now. These guys, I would say, maybe are a little bit better than them. They just beat them. But 12.2 has been really bad. Hopefully 12.3 doesn't hurt them anymore. Um, and then this. XL are a little bit better than these three right now. I would say it's definitely they're setting themselves apart. That Mickey X deal is helping them. Um, however, these three are definitely by themselves. So that's my week five LEC power rankings. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this sort of content, I do all four major regions every week when they play, obviously. So I, I said that because LCK and LPL didn't play last week. So they don't have power rankings. But if you want to know what's going on in those series, every day I post um, videos if the regions played and go over the games in a much shorter format than you watching the entire thing if you want to catch those. Like I said before, thank you for watching and like and subscribe if you enjoy the content.